Welcome beautiful Leos to your Life Path and Abundance Report for February 2021. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and welcome to Irish Donna Tarot and Astrology. Leo, what a month this is for you. You are at a life-changing place or the opportunity to change your life dramatically in ways that will bring great happiness, that you are the gardener of your own life. The gardener, as we can see in this picture, is very happy in her place. She has these beautiful flowers. She enjoys the garden. She enjoys everything that she's able to grow. This is you, Leo. You are enjoying the fruits of your labors right now. But like a garden, sometimes we become insecure or we become jealous and we call those weeds. <laughs> And so this card is calling on you to understand that it's a natural part of life, that with the most positive growth still comes, you know, some uncomfortable emotions. And it's okay that you can pull the weeds out, you can work on that, but you can maintain this beautiful level of growth that you're in right now. We see the dragon's lair. <laughs> I have goose pimples as I read this. When we add one and nine, we get two. Yeah, you know, we get uh, the number 10. And so it's 19. So added together is down to one. With the sword card that's coming in here, and all of your Leo moon energy that you have here. With the transits of Mars and Uranus here in your fourth house of home. This is for Leo rising specifically, but Leo sun also. We're seeing that spirit is asking you to wield your sword in a healthy but swift way. You're at a point in your life when you're in the dragon's lair. You must be courageous in your actions. The dragon's lair is requiring you to tread the path carefully and be very aware of your surroundings. The path you're on right now will challenge you to the core. And that said, you know, the peril and the adventure that you're on right now this exploration that you might not even yet be aware of is something vital to your happiness, to your growth, to your life. But it won't be without a certain amount of peril. Anything that we do, any venture that you, you enter is going to be unknown to you at this time. The sword is once again sort of like striking the sword at the time when you're separated from your mother in the womb. It separates you from what was once a life-giving force into being able to make it on your own. The sword is something that helps us cut away that which is not necessary, that which does not serve us. When we think in the tarot of the swords cards, we always think of the queen of swords because she cuts away, you know, anything that does not serve. And so you're going to be asked to be very courageous right now, you know, to really be mindful of that that you do so that you don't, you know, you use good judgment. Your ancestors are calling on you from the mountains to stand your ground, Leo. When we look at the astrology, it's quite stunning. Most of you who follow tarot and astrology know that you just had, you know, a full moon in Leo. So we look at you here, Leo, and we have the nine of fire. The nine of fire means that you're working very hard, but look at what she's creating. She's creating stars. This creative effort is, is moving you forward, Leo. The In your seventh house of partnership, now I would say for many of you, this could be a business partnership, especially if you're a Leo ascendant. A business partnership, 
it could be your advisors, lawyers, doctors, people who have a legal responsibility to protect you and help you, along with marital partners or significant others. Right now, you are so blessed. You have the sun in Aquarius. That is a life force in Aquarius. And you are coming in with this sun-moon sort of conjunction, this energy of really being at peace with yourself, feeling like for maybe the first time in your life, you have a clarity of purpose you've never had. And now you're sharing that vision with the outside world, and it's very enlightened. Saturn means that you take this very seriously. You have a partner that is you are so blessed to have whoever this person is in your life for most of you it will be a significant other but you have Jupiter the planet of good fortune Sagittarius you know it's upper level thinking it's philosophy it's going back to school possibly your partner could even be going back to school um, but we have Mercury again Gemini energy so for many of you a partner may be right creating going back to university but at any rate you know you, you may be carrying you know water for them but what I'm seeing you move into is this energy your own empowerment your own ability to choose people in your life who are enlightened Leo very very enlightened bringing you good fortune and you're willing to do the work. You're willing to cut away that which doesn't serve you. And what we see in your money house is the three of fire. Right now, you may get an opportunity to form an alliance or a partnership, which brings, you know, helps you bring your ships into harbor. The three of fire is your ships are in port. It, you know, we're looking back at a time when, you know, the Spaniards went to throughout the world to collect spices for the king. And so the ships have arrived back in port after the journey. You've done the work. You are about to receive the blessing for the work financially. We have in your house of other people's money, this could be a partner's money, we have Neptune. I'm not really seeing you have the ability at this time, and I would be very careful even if you could, to count on anyone else's money, whether it be a bank, whether it be a 401k to do well. Neptune says that right now, you, the finances of banks, lending institutions, a partner's money may be non-existent. It just might not be there. The Two of Swords or the Two of Air says that you're not really looking at that. You're basically ignoring it. And it's not a bad idea. This is a very empowering way to work with this energy. When we look at your third house, you are a hermit. Your neighbors haven't seen you in days. <laughs> you're everybody. This is, you know, we're sequestered at home, pandemic sort of energy. But for you, it's feeding your soul. What we see here with this uh, hermit energy it's Virgo energy. Whatever you're doing at home in your, you know, in your, in your neighborhood, I should say more specifically, in your neighborhood, the people around you, um, you're not really talking with them. And yet, whatever it is that you're doing within the neighborhood, people are beginning to know you. And the four of fire says that the people around you are starting to look at you as a mentor, that even though you keep to yourself, you're not trying to spread your wisdom. You know, you really are uh, sort of a loner in many regards. It really shows that there's a stability that's growing. Um, also, for many of you, you might be taking classes. You're taking classes to have stability. This is ninth house activity. So it's really going out in the world and creating stability and that being your focus versus what's going on in the neighborhood. But when we look at the Hermit card with your Virgo energy, because that's Virgo energy, whatever you're thinking up, whatever you're cooking up, Virgo, is going to pay off. So time alone right now with your thoughts in the car driving, it's a great time to turn on your your 
any sort of um, recorder that you might have and record your thoughts because your ideas are invaluable at this time. When we look at the energy of your fourth house of home and hearth, there are there's sort of an epic situation going on right now the five of fire says that on the home front you feel like you're in sort of a battle now for some of you this could mean literally you're having difficulty you know dealing with keeping a home or there might be strife in the home environment uh, that there may be noise there may be a lot of people around this is a almost like a competitive environment so home right now probably does not not feel tremendously warm and fuzzy to you. It's a card of competition, so ego battles can go on inside the home. It's Scorpio energy, so you know there's a tremendous ability to to break apart and to want to move. Quite literally, um, you feel as though your home front is not a quiet environment that you seem to be enjoying right now. The Seven of Water also speaks to the fact that your career is very much a source of concern for you right now. The, the Seven of Water is that you have many options. You definitely want to do something different. You need change. You have taken some sort of action recently to better your life. Also, I will say this, Uranus rules electricity and computers, so that may have an impact on your, you know, your job search or your career. I would say that right now you are going to go through several different, very quickly changing environments in career uh, and probably for the next several years. But Mars is moving away from Uranus and it is moving into uh, the energy of Aries. So I do feel as though that's going to be more helpful to you because Mars is Aries energy. So, you know, very shortly in about 30 days here is what I'm thinking. Uh, it should be in Aries, which will be very helpful. And it'll, it, it won't be disruptive. When Mars is with Uranus, it literally can mean that suddenly one day, you know, the company closes or suddenly one day your boss announces if you work for a small company that they're going to retire. So it does look as though you have options. You're exploring those options. In some ways you're excited, but you know, it is a dragon's lair. So it does say that there's some risk, uh, that, you know, there's risk of disruption, uh, because that's what Uranus does. It sort of surprises you. But overall, this is going to be beautiful energy because look at this. Uranus rules Aquarius and we have all of these beautiful planets through your friends, through your acquaintances, through your, your professional um, meetings and friends and people that you know, you're going to have absolutely an incredible new opportunity coming to you from someone that you would deem helpful in your career in a partnership type way. Some of you will actually form a partnership, but be very careful because a dragon's lair says you need to make sure that you get a fair deal, that you strike a fair deal. Okay. So when we look at your energy of your fifth house of romance, you want stability. You are invested in a relationship. You are measuring and looking at that relationship. You're giving it a lot of thought. Um, this is romance. This is creativity. If you're working on a creative project, you may collaborate with people from different cultures, somebody you knew at college, you know, some somebody who is willing to invest with you. But the four of air, this Gemini energy says that your your the better luck that you have right now will be in dealing with like university environments or people who are more sophisticated or more well-rounded in their world look and their viewpoint of the world. The four of air really speaks to the fact that right now um, you don't have this feeling that 
your friends are really people that need to be in on this. So Four of Air says that that piece is sleeping right now. So when you look at your creative aspect, your romantic aspects, it looks as though you're very invested there. It's an appropriate place to be invested. And whereas when you look at the fifth to the, to, to the 11th house, the uh, the friends and the the people around you in the work environment or your associations of any sort are it's really in sleep mode basically for bear is healing you know we see the soldier laying on a coffin so you're you're just not going in that direction you're not giving people information in that regard you're not telling the world what you're doing you're keeping things to yourself the ace of water oh my goodness look at this energy we have venus and Pluto, the Ace of Water, you are ending one aspect of your work life, Leo, and you want something and you are requiring something that makes you very, very happy. It does look like with the Venus transit through Pluto, you may have been offered a new form of income, a new way of making a living, a new way of, um, you know, using your Virgo energy to really bring beauty and love and transformation into your life. This also can mean a, a bit of a windfall. It could mean that even if you are ending a career, you could get a buyout. You could get a bonus, you know, if you're ending your day-to-day -day work life to go to something better. It can be, you know, when companies say, well, we want to have older people leave the workforce so that we can make room for others. It would be money attached with that. The sixth house is the ace of water. Is your, It looks like you're loving this energy. Capricorn energy also inferring it's very career related. Uh, for some of you, you could be getting a loan to start a business. For others of you, I really think it's going to be money that you're receiving upon departing a company or money that you're going to receive in terms of um, looking at some maybe even some self-financing of some sort. When we look at the energy of your 12th house, seven of air, I don't think that you're feeling terrific in terms of your body. I feel as though it's going to be very important when you're home to really nurture your health. The Seven of Air just is a card of stress. Take your time, you know, really work at healing yourself. When we look at this beautiful energy, we see this person surrounded by doves and, you know, this white light. So take this time to energetically withdraw. You have the Two of Air. Don't look for, you know, money or anything from other people a partner may be limited in what they can give you time wise right now you know your friendships look as though it's not an area of growth this month nor is you know you want to really make sure that you don't uh, become ill or anything so take good care of your health but i love the energy for you you are do you are opening your heart you are doing something wildly different you are following a level of dreams right now Leo that you have never had the chance to enjoy in the past. Your abundance is right here. Your seventh house. It could be a partner, a marriage partner, a lover, significant other with whom you live. You could be stepping into a marriage or a long-term committed relationship. There's an abundance of energy here. You could be relocating to be with this person, but your area and source of abundance is that seventh house for you. Just Jupiter is there. Saturn is there. Whatever you're doing with partnership in your life right now is going to be with you for a long time. But be mindful. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back. Enter the contest. I'm giving away four free readings tomorrow. So take care. It's going to be the first of every month. Uh, and thank you so much, Leo, for joining me here. Take care. Bye-bye.